How's it going, guys? It is 3 a.m., 5th of May, here in Japan. We have a past level question for neuro, farm, drug overdoses, step one, as well as internal medicine, 2CK. Very quick question here, not going to be dramatic, all right? Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. If I'm on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, I'm HLMA underscore medical, links down below. If I'm on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 23 year old backpacker. Brought to emergency, sudden onset, vomiting, nausea, dizziness, headache while picking nectarines. Pulse 50, blood pressure 90 over 60, generalized weakness, pinpoint pupils, one millimeter, diaphoresis. Question wants to know most likely explanation for these findings. So past level, as I said, this is organophosphate toxicity. This is nearly identical to one of the uh, 2CK internal medicine uh, questions, actually, even though this is very step one-like. So... Organophosphates, they are cholinesterase inhibitors, okay? So uh, that is the high yield point you have to know for starters. So if you inhibit acetylcholinesterase in the presynaptic cleft, then you merely have more acetylcholine available to bind the postsynaptic receptors. And that's why we get dumbbell findings, okay? So that's the mnemonic for cholinergic side effects, diarrhea, urination, meiosis, which is pupillary constriction, bradycardia, uh, bronchoconstriction, excitation, neuromuscular, lacrimation, salivation, sweating. Don't want to go on a tangent right now, but anticholinergic side effects would just be the opposite of dumbbells as an example. Okay, so not diarrhea, but constipation, not urination, but urinary retention, etc. So let's just whip to the answer choice here. Not going to be lengthy clip, it's already prefaced with. Choice A, decreased release of acetylcholine for presynaptic vesicles, wrong fucking answer. This could refer to botulism, okay? So where we have uh, inhibition of presynaptic snare protein, clostridium botulinum, preformed toxin in uh, improperly sterilized canned goods, can be spores in honey in uh, babies under the age of one. So, but that's that inhibits presynaptic release of acetylcholine. We get flaccid paralysis, tetanus, okay? Tetanus toxin has the same mechanism as uh, botulin toxin. However, you get pre uh, inhibition of presynaptic release of gabaglycine. We get spastic paralysis. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, decreased stimulation of postsynaptic receptors by acetylcholine, wrong fucking answer. So that makes no sense because this would be anticholinergic side effects. Opposite of dumbbells, as I said. So even if you don't know what's going on here, these side effects are clearly cholinergic. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, decreased synaptic activity of cholinesterase. Correct answer. So as I already talked about, phosph uh, organophosphates are cholinesterase inhibitors. That's what you need to know. The treatment for organophosphate poisoning is going to be atropine first followed by pralidoxime. That is assessed on offline NBME for step one. I believe it's NBME 15 or 16, where they list both as answers and atropine is correct over pralidoxime. So atropine is going to act more quickly, more acutely. It blocks the muscarinic receptors, okay? So you're gonna block the effects of that increased acetylcholine available in the, in the synaptic cleft. And then pralidoxime is going to regenerate acetylcholinesterase, so phospho, so organophosphates, the phosphate group is a cholinesterase inhibitor. Pralidoxime comes in, it kicks out the phosphate group. Okay, so that will regenerate your active uh, cholinesterase. They also ask on one of the uh, NBME forms for 2CK, I believe it is, they want you to know that you get organophosphate poisoning by not wearing gloves. Not wearing a mask is the wrong answer. Okay, so you actually get it through your skin, not through inhalation as the main mechanism. So real quick, increased metabolic breakdown of acetylcholine in the synapse, wrong fucking answer. That also makes no sense, even if you don't know what's going on, because this would be anticholinergic, if anything, not cholinergic. Uh, try to see increased release of acetylcholine from presynaptic nerves, wrong fucking answer. Okay, so, I mean, sure, this could make sense on the front of, we have cholinergic side effects here, but as I already discussed throughout this clip, organophosphates are cholinesterase inhibitors making choice C correct. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.